What's up, fellas? It's Texas Jedi. Um, I know I already did a video on the Glock on how to stipple, but uh, I had a buddy of mine that went out and got him a Glock 45 Gap, um, which is the Glock 38, and asked me to do a little quick stipple job on the on the handles on the side, on this side, this side, and he also wants it right here. The gun is for his father. Um, he's looking for a for a carry piece in 45 um he found a 45 gap i've never actually shot a 45 gap i'm sure it's pretty similar to a 45 acp um and we'll check it out and let y'all see me do it firsthand first person view we'll go from there all i'm using is a like i used another video soldering iron with a real fine point tip and uh, I'm going to zoom y'all in close, let y'all see it firsthand, and hope you like the video. We're going to start on the area around the slide stop, or the takedown, slide takedown lever. And we'll go from there. Hopefully my big hands won't be in the way. What I like to do first is just go around and outline it. And we're just going to outline this little oval spot. Just real quick, light touches. Thing to remember is, remember you're uh, you're working on a polymer gun, so the chance for you know it's plastic, so a polymer, so uh, chances are very great that you could burn a hole through this. I'm gonna have to turn this a couple, a couple different ways. Make sure y'all see this. So we're just going to go around and we're going to outline the area we're going to stipple. Once we get our general outline done, it goes pretty fast. Just real quick, light touches. What's going to do is it's going to raise that plastic up just enough to give it a raised surface. And then you just going to go through here random. Real quick. Don't keep the. And you can go back over the edge that you went so there's not. I like to do it where there's not uniformity as far as like lines of little dots. Um, some people like that. And that's fine. It just takes a, long, a lot longer. I'll get around this little tab. Along that edge. Now, when you're doing edges. You want to be careful not to go off the edge because you'll hit that, that plastic and it'll go down the hole and it's, it's going to look like garbage. So now that I got that done, we can just just go through here. Watch a little dots. And that's pretty much it. Um, pretty easy. Take your time. So we got that side done. We'll flip it over with the other side done. And then we'll move on to the grip. Go back over and look. Make sure there's no smooth spots all right now what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh do the outline <coughs> excuse me um the line i have set and then, uh we'll go from there i don't know if you can see it i got it mapped out in pen right there comes around and then comes back down and follows the natural lines of the actual factory raised grip and we're going to be going over that as well 
Um, we'll leave the Glock logo, I'll go around it, and all this will be stippled and give you a better purchase on the uh, on the firearm. So uh, here we go. Um, you can see where I've already started on the raised handle. It's kind of got that sandpaper feel as opposed to smooth. And once you get your outline going and you get going on this, it really don't take a whole long time because um, you can start pretty much going a little faster. Um, I've seen people do like scrape marks like they'll hold it down and draw lines in it like this you know all kinds of crazy stuff um, the longer you hold this down the bigger the dot or then the divot's gonna be which make it kind of give it that golf ball look I really don't I personally don't like that you and once you're done you can look at it in the light and you can see the shiny spots where some dots aren't touching and you can go back and just hit them real quick them shiny spots and it'll take the it'll make it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing anyways to me that's pretty much all you're going to do and you're just going to keep doing that all the way up and around and uh, I'll be back when I get this side done we're finished um, this is what I got he didn't want the stippling to come on the magazine release on the back side. He just wanted to leave it like that because it is an extended mag release. In case he would decide to sell that mag release later or whatever, he just wanted to leave that smooth. So, But there it is, all stippled up, both sides. I uh, left the Glock logo. Um, went in over the thumb rests. And Turned out pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's just another stippling video real quick. Give y'all an idea. Uh, had some time to kill. Want to make a video, so there you go. Once again, I thank everybody for watching. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you to all my subscribers and everybody who's uh, put the word out there about me and my channel and has shown me support and encouragement. I appreciate every one of y'all. This is Texas Jedi. Until next time, may the Force be with you.